I'm here with Terry Thorson today from Green Line Equipment, and it's getting time to start mowing your lawn, and we need to get these, this equipment out and get it checked over. Are there three things that you would recommend people take a look at in order to get their equipment ready to go for the season? Um, yeah, there, yeah, the three things, if I had to sum it up, um, one would be uh, to check that all their fluids, their oils, their filters, and things like that, uh, fresh gas, things of that nature. Most of the engines are equipped with a dipstick that shows you the level of the fluid. Um, a person's going to have to refer to their particular mower in terms of where they drain it and how they refill it and the quantities they do. Um, on this mower, for example, there's an air filter underneath the housing. Um, you just have to take that off, inspect it, make sure it's clean. Um, filters and fluids are cheap. Mowers get pretty expensive, so it's pretty inexpensive maintenance to do. Um, second, I would recommend that they check all their belts and idlers and blades, making sure the blades are sharp, the belts are in good condition. A person has to, a lot of times, get the mower tipped up in a position to get, gain access to the blade. Um, again, making sure the engine's off, you want to in inspect your blade, that the, the blade is sharp. Um, the blade can be removed um, with some home tools. A lot of people can do it, otherwise, facilities like us, we can sharpen the blades for you. And third, I'd check all the safety circuits on the machine or safety systems on the machine to make sure to ensure they're working properly so nobody gets hurt during the mowing season. There again, depending on your machine, most of them are equipped with something that if you let go of a handle, the engine stops or the blade comes to an abrupt halt so that we can't get underneath. As we, uh, as we get the machine running, we should test that they're working fine, that, that everything shuts off. So if uh, you're not the person operating the mower and it's a young child or whatever, we don't stand a chance of getting a a finger or a toe cut off in a mowing situation. So if it's been a while since your mower's been maintained, you should probably get it checked. This is Jeff Edwards for the University of Wyoming Extension from the ground up.